Okay, so just staying on this circle, hands nice and low in front of you. And just super quiet walk and really getting connected. So come with a little half halt. Right, and ride, ride the half halt a little bit more forward. So ride the half halt a little bit more forward and feel where the outside shoulder is. Hands low, again, that's it. So keep the hands right there, good. Arms are in a great place, elbows are at your side, very nice. Keep all of it just like that. And again, a little bit of a half halt. Yeah, flexion to the inside. Yeah, good, and come right up to a halt. Rounder, yeah, and walk forward again. Yeah. Good, and stay right here on the circle. And again, a little bit forward, and push him up to a halt. Hands low, so feel, yeah. So feel the energy of your seat coming right into the hand. So that should all blend and he should stop underneath of that. Good, and again, a little flexion to the inside, upper body's good. And again, come to your halt. A little playing in the reins first, that was getting better. One more time, reins a little bit shorter. Yeah, you've got it, you've got it. She felt the difference in that, didn't you? Good. And do it one more time. That's it. You've got it. Good. Walk forward, half circle, change rein. And as you change rein, be really aware of the outside shoulder. Push that up in front of you. Good. Little flexion now to the right. Nice, steady hands. Thumbs up. Press forward with your seat. And go back again and think about that connection of the shoulders back the strength through the abs and the push forward from the seat. So and really balance your core like that. Lower legs staying right where they are, that's good. Hands are in a good place now. And come again to a halt. <laughs> and take the range shorter. And this time just do a half halt. Good, good, and again, halt, round, yeah, good, walk, good, walk forward, fine, and go up into a trot, posting trot, super steady, stay right on the circle. Nice, good, don't let him get any deeper than that, that's it, good, good. So right in here that you have the feeling that you ride him out to the contact. Good. Good. This feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, fine. This is your normal horse, isn't it? <laughs> good, so come again. So Stace, just come with a little bit of a hold from your upper leg. That's it, good. Good, so, so you, do, you get exactly that result that you got his attention, okay? Come again, that little half halt, and in the half, yeah, fine, good. Now, you can play a little bit through the fingers and check him, he's, he's excellent in the neck, but you just wanna keep him staying soft and supple in the jaw, really good. You could take your reins just a, an inch or two shorter and keep your hands in front of you. Come again with the half halt. Yeah, good, very good. Go straight down the long side. Good, and again, just straight down the long side. Just straight and steady, beautiful top line, really good. Really good, very nice. Yeah. Fine, change rain across the short diagonal, K to B. Good, make sure you have that outside shoulder right in front of you. And it be on a 20 meter circle.
good. Yeah, good. That's it. Little playing, little touches with the reins. Good. Come back again and a half halt. Yeah, Ra a little bit rounder in the neck. Right there, right there. Good. I was so little, huh? That's it. Very good. Straight down the long side. Then you're going to go serpentines, three loops, width of arena, but super correct serpentines. So really get, get everything out of it. Get a lot of bend, suppling through the neck. Careful that the reins don't get too long. Nice. Ah, really nice. Good. Half hold on the outside rein. Good. One more time. The same serpentines. And really feel like you make him bend around the middle section. Yeah, that's it. Push the right shoulder to the left rein. Good. And do a 10 meter circle right here. Yeah. Outside rein. And back to your serpentine. Uh, half halt. Yeah, half halt in the corner. And straight down the long side. Good. Really good. It feels great, doesn't he? Come here on the circle. Half halt again. Bring it back to the haunches. So this time, do a half halt and really get deep down into the half halt. Feel, actually feel him shift the weight back to the haunches and come a little higher through the withers. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, it's the beginning of passage. <laughs> good. Good. Come back again. So now bring it back. And as you bring it back, then, then incorporate the lower leg as well. Yeah. Good. Good, 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 good. Look at that. Yeah, pat him. Really good. <laughs> yeah, fine. Come to sitting trot. We'll come back to that. Come to sitting trot. Keep him going forward. And from trot right up into canter. And staying right on the circle. A little flexion to the inside. That's it. Upper body back. Sit a little bit more into the back of your seat. Half fault in the outside rein. You remind me anytime he needs to have a walk break, okay? Okay, well just say so when you need it. Good, and push a little bit forward. So, Stacy, think here about bringing a lot of energy up over the shoulder, out to the bit. Yeah, good, stay into the back of your seat. This is fine. Go, go just a little bit more forward. Yeah, good. Good. Hands low, upper body back and straight down the long side. Good. Yeah, fine. Really nice. Good. Straight down the long side. Super. Yeah. Good. And change rain. Change rain across the diagonal. Watch that right shoulder, a little leg yield. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Good. Really nice. <laughs> That's bad when you have the, um, the two-way radios and you can hear somebody. <laughs> really good. That's how he normally is, huh? Yeah. See, that, that's like the beginning. That's how you're going to get passage with him. I mean, he has the ability to do that. You just, the only thing you have to be careful with is once you start tapping into that, that you're, you're able to push him forward again. Because then they start liking that and they think, oh, hey, Wayne, I can hold back a little with it. So you want to be sure that you keep the energy from it. I think he was just really fresh yesterday, huh? Yeah.
Yeah. And the thing is, it's like such a, it's such a delicate spot, huh? Because do you have mirrors at all? No. no. Yeah, so, that, so it's, it's really hard to be sure that you get it just right. So just stay here and walk, taking your reins back. And right in here is a good place for his neck. Now, having said that, I'd like to see him come up a little bit through the withers, okay? Because he wants to have a little bit of that under neck. So when you walk by in the mirror, take a look. This is, this is fine in here, not deeper, okay? So look and see where he is in front of you. And see, generally, you should be able to see the leather on the crown piece, okay? That, that's for show. I mean, for schooling, that can come a little bit deeper, okay? Good, so come again with half halts. And just, and really feel as though you can check the walk and you can check where he is. You're gonna do a quarter turn in the corner. And out of that, right back into trot. And stay on the circle. Good. And feel like you have a nice, yeah, he's so pretty. Good, really good. Look in the mirror here. This is fine here. This is really good. Okay? Does that feel rounder than you normally have him? Yes, but I feel like I need a hair behind. A hair behind? Whether it's just the energy or behind or behind. Okay, he's not really, yeah, he's just ever so, I mean, if you wanted to get super technical, yes. So, but what you want to do is then, if the reins get longer, then he has more of a chance of getting deeper and rounder. So think about, um, where the level of the bit is, you want to shorten the rein from the bit to your hand and push the haunches under so you keep him reaching out. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's it. Good. So, so again, take the reins just a little bit shorter and as you do drive forward, yeah, and let the head come up just a little bit and push him. So that's it. Fine. Oh, he's got nice reactions, doesn't he, today? <laughs> and come again from the outside. Press the outside shoulder a little bit inward. Soften him on the left rein. Good, then soften him a little bit right rein. Good, let's go back again and see, just play with the idea and see what you have when you close. There, he's too deep. Um, that's it. So play with the idea of closing the upper legs and then hold the lower leg and let him lift, 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 yeah. Good, 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 yeah, good. Now sit into the back of your seat even more and a little, just a little touch release in the rein. And again, you can take those reins shorter. Don't be afraid to shorten the reins. When you shorten the reins and bring the energy back to the haunches, you're doing good. Yeah, so now again, come with a little bit more of a half halt and a little bit more of a drive and expect him to lift into the, up off the ground a bit. Yeah, there, you feel it? Very good, stay with that. Stay exactly with that. So now use that for your collected trot and go down the long side. So this has much more rhythm, okay? And down the long, next long side in shoulder in. Good, and let him have that lift, 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 as long as he's forward and in front of your leg. And your shoulder in, nice. Yeah, soften him on the outside rein as well. Come down the next long side again, and shoulder in into Ranvier. Ah, good, a little counter bend. Nice. Good, Stacy. Come down the second quarter line and begin with shoulder in. Take the shoulder in into half pass right. And maintain that trot. Good. Yeah, good. Good. 
I like how you kept it forward, straight ahead. Keep them on the right rein and down the next long side and shoulder in again. A little lift from behind. So Stace, actually, come on the circle again around me. So feel as though, stay in sitting trot, and feel as though you sit into the back of the saddle, lean back for a stride and push the energy up to the hand. And as you push the energy up to the hand, you lift the front legs. Atta girl, yeah. Yeah, I feel it. Yep. Super. Good. Really good. Really good. Yeah, fine. He likes that. <laughs> Come to a walk and take a break. <laughs> so with that, it's like he's obviously real sensitive and um, and no, he, he knows that. I mean, he knows how to lift and bounce a bit. Uh-oh, here. Come here, buddy. Right. Yeah, right, It'll, it can become an evasion. There you go. There you go, huh? You're a nice boy, aren't you? <laughs> crunch, crunch. <laughs> okay, so let him walk just a bit, and then we're going to go back into trot and do the shoulder in half pass. Mm-hmm. 